16th branch of Mega Mart and Macro Mart supermarkets in Bahrain has opened in Sahala. The best offers are available to the customers at affordable rates. Everyone is welcome. During and around the opening day, a variety of fish including salmon, meat and dairy products, roastery, frozen items, food and non-food items, groceries, fruits and vegetables, electronics, garments and ready-to-eat food items are available to the customers at affordable rates. Hearty welcome to all. Mega Mart and Macro Mart, your favorite shopping destination. The exclusive franchisee of Cochin Kala Bhavan in Bahrain. With over a decade of existence in Bahrain, exclusive online regular classes have started for classical dances, music vocals, instrumental music, cinematic dance, Kathak, Zumba body fitness, karate and yoga, drawing, arts and craft, children's theater. For more information, please call 39 Zero nine six eight four five three nine zero nine four eight zero six three eight eight five two three nine seven or visit www. A socially vibrant Bahraini woman, one who plays a vitally important role in ensuring the welfare of the expat population in the kingdom. Khana Al Safar, the Director of Communications at the Labour Market Regulatory Authority. The management professional is an expert in her field, which focuses on creating awareness of all matters related to the country's labor market, both commercial and that of the domestic workers. Ms. Al Safar from Bahrain's Manama holds a master's degree in management from London and has been on board the LMRA from 2011. Her scope of work covers the effective dissemination of the rights and duties of expatriate laborers, protecting them from exploitation and guaranteeing their rights. A member of Bahrain's Garmin delegation to the International Labour Organization Geneva, Switzerland, Ms. Al Safar comes with a rich experience in the field through her participation in international conferences and workshops related to labour issues. Married to a businessman, Ms. Al Safar, who enjoys traveling and adventure, loves to meet new people from different cultures. Joining us tonight on Success Statements from BMC Global Live, a show which features people who make a difference, it is the Communications Chief of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, Hana Al Safar. On the eve of Bahraini Women's Day, with us at the studios of Bahrain Media City is a vibrant Bahraini woman in leadership. Director of Communications at the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, 
Hana Al Safar on Success Statements, a show which features people who make a difference. Good evening, Hana. Welcome to the show. Uh, good evening, Raji. And, uh, Happy Women's Day. Happy Bahraini you. Women's thank Day. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for having me here. It's thank a pleasure so and uh, honor for me to be with you. Indeed, tonight. and it's a very special occasion. Tomorrow we mark Bahraini Women's Day. Yes. And what more can I ask than to have a woman in leadership position, a true representative of the Bahraini women in, a, in the studios. Thank you. Thank Hana, you this pleasure. evening we would like to to hear from you a little bit more about you, the job that you do, your personal engagements, your family, etc., etc., so that you can inspire our audience, especially women out there and men as well, mm -hmm. because you work in a sector which is very close to the community that caters, that we, Bahrain Media City, cater to, which is the expat population. Yes. And you work with the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, mm -hmm. and you're on board the LMRA from 2011 onwards, isn't it? Um, well, if I'm going to start talking about my career mm -hmm. um, before LMRA. Yeah, I want uh, you to tell us, like, you know, up the rungs, yeah. what brings you here yeah. today as um, the Director of Communications. My, my career path, uh, I like talking about it because it went through different stages, different categories. Mm -hmm. um, I've graduated from Bahrain University. Um, Bachelor of English Literature and High Diploma okay. in Education. All right. And I supposed to be an English teacher. Teacher, okay. But while I was studying, I know myself that teaching is not my field. Mm -hmm. But I have to finish because I got a scholarship from Ministry of Education. Interesting. Uh, immediately after I have graduated, I joined one of um, the management institutes here in Bahrain. I studied the basic management issues. Mm -hmm. And immediately I joined the private sector. I didn't wait for a big position. No, I said I have to start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I've joined the private sector basically in, an, in a diplomatic mission in Bahrain. Mm -hmm. And um, I was the, Bahra the only Bahraini uh, person in that mission. Mm -hmm. um, all they were non-Bahrainis. And it was my first experience in life. Mm -hmm. And I have to deal with people, different nationality, different culture. Everything is totally, and I was too young at that mm -hmm. age, but um, it went very nice. After four years, uh, I got an, a chance to work in the parliament. Okay. And uh, immediately, uh, directly in with uh, Mr. His Excellency, Mr. Uh, al Bahrani, mm -hmm. the chairman okay. for the president at that time. Yeah. Uh, I worked for a year and a half there. That year and a half, it, it made a big difference and change in my personality and in my characters because I've learned everything about the legislation, about the policy, um, about the political system in Bahrain, which was new in, to, to mm -hmm. the country at that time. And I have to read. Um, I'm the type of person that I'm not waiting for others to give me the information. No, I do search, I do dig. Mm -hmm. um, I try to, I, and I never say no at that time. Whatever they give me of task, I said, yes. Okay, I'm going to do it. Uh -huh. Maybe either they said, why you are doing that? No, I'm going to learn. It's going to add a knowledge to me, and it's going to add a lot of experience. After that year, during the discussion of LMRA law in the parliament, and uh, there was, it was a big challenge, actually. Uh -huh. I got... Um, an offer from EDB, they uh -huh. contacted me to join uh, LMRA uh, team um, that they were working on the LMRA law. Uh -huh. And we were only 15 persons only, and uh, we were a very small team. Um, I, I really do remember when I went to the interview with um, uh, His Excellency Mr. Osama al uh -huh. he told me, Hana, do you know that still there is no LMRA? You are coming for a big challenge. Um, are you going to accept that? I told him, because it's a big challenge, I want to go through it. Uh -huh. uh, he said, but you have a secure job. You are working with His Excellency al Dahrani. You have very good position, blah, blah, blah. I told him, no, still, I want to take that challenge. And I'm still young. Even if there is no LMRA, I will find a job. Okay. <laughs> but luckily, we have the law in 2006. Um, only after that, um, we, we continue the, the start LMRA. 
Uh, I asked for a leave without pay to, and I went to, uh, to UK uh, to do my master's degree on management mm -hmm. because I found that it's a time for me to increase my experience with academic mm -hmm. on the management side. Yes. And working um, for a couple of years on the management side and then taking the master, it helped me a lot. It mm -hmm. added a lot to me. And studying abroad, uh, by myself, uh, living in London for a year and a half, and I have to do everything by myself, mm -hmm. it added a lot to my personality. And I met people from different nationalities, which uh, uh, I, I do still have re good relationship with them, uh, mm -hmm. from, from Asia, from, uh, from Africa, from North America, and even from UK, of course. Mm -hmm. Then I come back and uh, back to LMRA mm -hmm. in 2011 and I start the, the communication and the PR uh, job. And beside that, I'm the board secretary mm -hmm. since 2012. And uh, I'm working directly with His Excellency, uh, Mr. Jamil Hamidan, the chairman mm -hmm. of uh, LMRA board. And the labor minister. And the, uh, yeah, the labor minister. And uh, I'm... This is the place I am now after uh, different stages and uh, I love each stage. Each one has its taste and yes, uh, yes. it added a lot to me, honestly, even on the personal side, not on the, on the job side only. Yes, uh, that's a very beautiful sketch of your career path. And you sound to be very interesting and enthusiastic about taking up new roles and challenges. I do, and I do. Yeah, I you do. just took us through it. And it's, it's in, indeed interesting. You said that you, you should have been a teacher mm -hmm. of English, mm -hmm. uh, which you said was not your cup of tea or you wanted something different. Yes. Uh, my question is, as a child, what was your ambition? Oh, something totally different mm -hmm. than what I have said just now. My ambition was always to be a lawyer. Okay. <laughs> I like and to you defend never, people. You never wanted to take up that or oh, pursue that? Well, I couldn't do it at that time because when I graduated from school, there wasn't a law uh, college in University of Bahrain. Okay. Mm -hmm. And to do that only I have to travel abroad, which my mother will not allow me, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because as I told you, I, am, I don't have brothers and sisters. Oh yeah, you're a And I lost my daughter. dad yeah, since yeah. early age, then I'm so attached to my mom. So, and I got the scholarship from Ministry of Education and to, be, um, to study English literature and high diploma because I was, I'm a student. Mm -hmm. uh, so mama, she told me no. <laughs> Since you have the scholarship and, uh, and you know, English is the key mm. for everything. Mm. Um, the English language, it breaks or the language, it breaks all the barriers. Yes. Mm. So without in, uh, studying the English language, I will, I will not have this uh, progress uh, working in the, the diplomatic mission, then on the, even on the parliament, I was handling all the, uh, the tasks in English languages and mm. preparing the materials for the meetings with the, uh, the delegations we do have in Bahrain. And now the, also now my job is basically uh, with all the expats Expat in Bahrain. Community. And mm. of course with different languages, I mean, not, English is the key, but then we have the other languages for the expat. Mm -hmm. so and you are a person who loves people, engaging with people, and obviously the job that you are on, the yes. LMRA, is very close to people, especially the expatriates, isn't it? Yes. You just said English is the key. Uh, and Bahrain's labor market is so vibrant with different languages. Mm -hmm. Do you know any other languages other than English and Arabic? Well, uh, maybe I do understand a little bit Hindi. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, Urdu maybe a little bit. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's okay. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how to talk. Maybe few words only. Mm -hmm. But I do sometimes. I do understand what they, what they say. Right. Okay. That is a beautiful Hana Al Safar, the Director of Communications at the Labor Market Regulatory Authority with us on success statements from BMC Global Live. Let's take a short break.
Welcome back to Success Statements from BMC Global Live. And with me tonight is Hana Al Safar, the Director of Communications at the Labor Market Regulatory Authority. Hana, I again wish you a happy Women's Day. Bahrain marks celebrates its women tomorrow, December 1st. And I'm sure you're very proud that nationalistic feelings are on highest, right? Tell me about your feelings as a Bahraini woman. You just now told me that you are a single daughter to a mother. You are so attached to your mother. And you have seen Bahrain at that time, uh, much before, decades before. And you've seen the progress of the nation, and especially its women. And this year is such a matter of uh, uh, pride for Bahrain, with seven women being elected to the parliament. Yes. And we have four women ministers, yes. that two young ministers. Yes. Of course, it's not this year alone. We've been seeing this strike. You will be able to tell us more about how you see this progress. Well, first of all, I'd like to uh, congratulate His Highness, uh, the, His Majesty, the King, and um, His uh, Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, and the Crown, Pr uh, Crown Prince, and Her Royal Highness, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the President of the Supreme Council, Council for of Women. Women on this occasion and my congratulation to all Bahraini women and to all women in, in Bahrain and in all the world. Um, I really feel proud that I am a woman uh -huh. and a Bahraini woman. We are so lucky to be living in a country that believes on the equality of every person living on this land. Um, His Majesty is giving a model to the whole world about the humanity and how Bahrain is the, the land of peace and it accommodates everybody. Everybody in Bahrain should be happy. And for women particularly, the Bahrain, Bahrain is pioneer on the field of uh, the woman since decades actually mm -hmm. uh, in terms of education, then, then the, the, the health sector. But the last 20 decades, and especially maybe after by establishing the Supreme Council in 2008, here it, it was the real beginning for mm -hmm. empowering the woman. So we can see the reflect of Bahraini woman strength and empowering, and her progress is, is always there. Um, we see her in the General Assembly of the UN with Sheikh. Haya bin Rashid Al Khalifa. Mm -hmm. We have the Bahraini, uh, Her Excellency Mrs. Fawzia Zainal, the mm -hmm. chair, uh, the former chair of the uh, parliament. For the parliament, as you mentioned, we have the uh, in the cabinet. We have in the Shura Council. We have in the parliament. Bahraini women, you will find her everywhere. And I always believe that I don't like to say we are half of the society, but the woman, she's the full of the society, mm -hmm. because. The woman, she's the mother, she's the daughter, she's the wife, she's the sister. I mean, even the successful man, there will be a woman behind him, either a, a mother or his wife or his sister or even his daughter. But somebody is there. We are, as a woman, trust me, Raji, we can do much more than the men can do. I mean, the man, he's in his job from morning till afternoon till evening. He'll come back, he will rest. But for us, no, we will come. We will. We are a successful woman in the job, mm -hmm. looking after our husband, mm -hmm. our parents, mm -hmm. our kids, our homes, the society, our friends. Uh, we have to do everything, and we want to satisfy everybody. So Bahraini women, we, all women in the world, we are so strong. <laughs> we have to be so proud that we are women. Yes, <laughs> and uh, Bahrain. Uh, we are so happy, we are so lucky to be in Bahrain that we have a government that really help us, support us. Um, uh, the, the, the progress is consistent with the, with the progress of Bahraini women. And uh, you will find here in the private sector, in the uh, government sector, in the NGOs, in the, even the youth. Nowadays, you will see a lot of um, young girls, mm -hmm. they are uh, working as a volun volunteers on the societies or the NGOs. And um, on this occasion, really, I wish all Bahraini women and women a happy, a happy woman day, inshallah. Indeed, indeed. It's a beautiful feeling to be a woman 
Yes. First of all. Yes. And yes, I share the pride along with you. Uh, this country has been home to me for two decades now. Mashallah. And I'm equally a Bahraini woman. Yes, you are. I really <laughs> feel so proud uh, the way this country embraces everyone, as you rightly said, hats off to the visionary leadership of His Majesty and His Royal Highness yes. and Princess Sabisha Princess as well. Uh, well, um, Hana, you just mentioned about how women are different from men, of course. You know, we are multitaskers. multitaskers. We do a lot of things together. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and it's not easy. Not what all. is, in your opinion, your success mantra? What makes you a successful woman? Uh, well, I believe that each person should have a successful mantra. Mm -hmm. For me, is never give up. Mm -hmm. I'm so patient. Okay. If, I'd, if I want to, if I want to do something, I will work so hard in doing that. Um, even if I fail. I will, I will not consider it as a, um, um, in, a, in a negative way, no. I will, I will learn from that experience. I will learn from the pros and cons of it, and I w it will add something to me. Um, I don't surrender easily, mm -hmm. and uh, I keep on trying. And uh, so this is always my advice to my, to my team and to my colleagues, my, my cousins, the new generation. Don't give up. Be patient. Mm -hmm. Life is full with challenges. I mean, you will not get things easy. Things that come easy, easy come easy, go. So you have to work hard to what you want so you can achieve it. Right. That's yeah. a beautiful message. And I think the younger generation, today's generation, really needs that. Yeah. Because they're not patient anymore. Yes. You know, it's everything quick. So quick. And uh, gone are those days where we had to wait and wait for things, isn't it? So a good message on a beautiful occasion of Women's Day, not only to women, I think it applies to all the I younger generation, yes. is to be patient. Yes. And tell us more about your family, though you did mention about your mother, mm -hmm. and you are an only child, you don't have any siblings, right? Uh, yes. You're um, from which part of Bahrain are you from? Uh, I'm I think from, Manama. From yeah. Manama, yeah. basically, okay. yeah. Um, my parents are originally from Manama, and I've been living in Manama all my life. Okay. Um, I can't live out of Manama. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even when we, when we moved from one area in Manama, I moved to another area yeah. in Manama, <laughs> okay. but still I'm in the capital. Um, um, I'm the only daughter, and I'm so close and attached to mama. But unfortunately, I've lost mama during the pandemic, the pandemic. because of COVID oh, yes. during I'm sorry. 2020. Yeah, we remember that. Although I was taking the all precautions to protect her, but it happened. And uh, may her soul, soul rest in peace. peace. Yes, the time has been tough for me. Yeah, yeah, it was very tough to me. And uh, I'm still suffering, but uh, this is life. And I've learned a lot from Mama. She she taught me to be strong. Mm -hmm. She's she's a strong woman. Mm -hmm. um, she gra she finished her school, then she went and studied in institute, then she started her working job. After she got retired, she has her social life, and her life is always busy. My mm -hmm. mom, her life rhythm is always busy. Sometimes I tell her, Mama, please. Have, have some time, have rest. She said, no, my, rest, my happiness is by socializing with people. So, um, and uh, I'm married to a um, lovely husband. Okay. Uh, whom I always say, I told him, I, I always say to him, you are my friend, not my husband. What is his name? Uh, his name is Mansoor. Okay. And uh, we have a, a, a nice uh, relationship, actually. Okay. We always deal with, uh, with each other as a friend. Okay. Beautiful. And uh, he's so patient with me. <laughs> <laughs> he's, I, I am so adventure person, uh, taking risk. He's totally unlike me. I mean, when we travel, I like to do paragliding, parasailing. Okay. All those uh, dangerous... Uh, the adventures. But... Yeah. He told me, no, Hannah, how come you are doing that? <laughs> I'm not responsible for anything happened to you. <laughs> but I told him, Khalas, now I'm not going to do that anymore. I did it. And uh, now we, we travel only for, for the calm and uh, peace places. And, uh, but sometimes I do take some <laughs> adventure <laughs> and risk. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if Mansoor is watching us, a hello and... 
um, hi to you from Team BMC. I can see a lot of love and affection oh. <laughs> on the face of your beautiful wife. And that is Hana Al Safar with us on Success Statements from BMC Global Live. Let's take a short break. Welcome back to Success Statements from BMC Global Live. And with us tonight is the Communications Chief of the LMRA, Hana Al Safar. Hana, do you have a goal in life? I believe every person should have a goal. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we can't work just like this randomly. I mean, we, have, we should have a goal that we work so hard to achieve. For me, maybe my goal is always is to to share to spread happiness mm -hmm. um, I believe every person every human being on on earth deserve to live in peace uh, happiness deserve respect um, <coughs> for me um, I, I I know many people in different nationality different religion different uh, languages and i love that um, maybe that is one of the reasons that make me successful in what i'm doing um, always try to give awareness for for people to to be legal uh, to do things right um, and uh, to be happy and peace on in, in all, in all uh, aspects of their life yes that's, yeah. that's a beautiful goal <laughs> and um, you just mentioned about your adventurous hobbies. Yes. I know some of your hobbies. <laughs> but what are your other hobbies right now? Like, I know you don't have much of free time because you handle uh, a huge responsibility yeah. on your shoulder. But then, what do you do during your free time? Well, uh, my, my hobby, of course, is the traveling, number mm. one. Okay. Whenever I have a chance, I'm going to travel for a new destination to right. see new people, to meet a new culture, um, and reading. I love reading. When I come back home from office, I like my my spare time is with book. Okay. Um, I like to read a lot on self development. All right. Uh, I like to read on psychology mm -hmm. because by knowing the psychology of the people, it will make you very easy to deal with them. Because the um, the people they will act with you, they will uh, treat with you. And they have back, if you know their background a little bit or the, the psych psychological, you will, you will try to understand why they are behaving with you in this way. I mean, the quiet person, the shy person, the nervous person. And by reading in psychology, it helped me indeed a lot in knowing the people and mm. how I can deal with different characteristics. You always had this interest of reading into psychology or you developed it over the years? Uh, no, actually I developed it over the years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm still, I'm, I'm doing, I, I, re, I, I do read that. And um, today I was in a gathering with my team and we were talking, I, I just told them, do what you love and love what you do. Mm. Because if you, if you do what you love, if you give with passion, you will reflect it on yourself and on the task that you are doing. And uh, trust me, sometimes if they give me the task and uh, if my, one of my team is doing it without 
the commitment, love. the passion or love. Yeah. I can't I can't feel it. Mm. I tell him, you are not in a good mood today. Go have some coffee, take a break, then come back and do it again. He said, Hannah, how come you know that? I told him, I know, because I don't feel the, the passion on the on the task itself. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's it, uh, traveling and uh, to different reading. cultures and mm -hmm. reading, yeah. So you've totally given up on your adventurous hobby hobbies? Well, like I, that was <laughs> <the> years <laughs> ago, but now no. Now I travel to a destination that is, there is no chance for adventure, <laughs> actually. Well, I, I love Switzerland. I visit Switzerland every year. Okay. Uh, I like the countryside there. Mm -hmm. And uh, also I love um, America, especially Florida. Uh, mm -hmm. Miami particularly. I don't mind sitting by the sea for hours. Mm -hmm. Just uh, myself and the sea and uh, the waves and uh, walking on the sand. Oh, it nice. gives me... Amazing. Have you been to India? I did. Mm -hmm. uh, that Where was, in India? I went to uh, Kerala, okay. particularly to um, Kovala. Okay, and, the beach uh, side. Yeah, the beach side. And I went to Komaraga. Okay. And Kochi. Again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was amazing experience for me. I mean, visiting India, it was one of my amazing uh, trip, mm -hmm. and um, I love the yoga there. Mm -hmm. the, I try to be vegetarian for a couple of days only. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But it was an amazing experience, honestly. Now I'm planning to go to other part of India. India, yes. Yeah, maybe to see Taj Mahal, Agra. So to see different part from Kerala. Yes, you must because India is diverse. It and is. You, for a person like you who enjoys culture and people, mm -hmm. India has a lot to offer. It is. Great. It is. It is. So Hannah, that was a beautiful evening chat. It was very easy to chat with you. Uh, and we are so happy to have you with us this evening. Can I have your wrapping comments, please? Well, uh, thank you again for having me tonight and a special thanks for BMC for having me here today. Um, wish you all success and um, I wish everybody uh, living happily, peacefully and um, happy Women's Day for everybody. I thank you thank very Thank you much. very much. Happy Women's Day to you too. Thank you. May Bahraini women uh, hail the flag of Bahrain higher Inshallah. scale heights. Inshallah. Thank you very much. Well, uh, that was the beautiful Hana Al Safar with us, a woman who has taken us through her beautiful journey of career path and her adventures and her hobbies a woman equipped to ensure the protection of expat rights in the kingdom, fun-loving and social. Well, thank you very much, Hannah, for joining us. Thanks. Until we meet next week with yet another guest, this is Raji Unikrishnan signing off. Good night. The branch of Mega Mart and Macro Mart supermarkets in Bahrain has opened in Sahala. The best offers are available to the customers at affordable rates. Everyone is welcome. During and around the opening day, a variety of fish including salmon, meat and dairy products, roastery, frozen items, food and non-food items, groceries, fruits and vegetables, electronics, garments and ready-to-eat food items are available to the customers at affordable rates. Hearty welcome to all. Mega Mart and Macro Mart, your favorite shopping destination. Thank you, Hannah, for joining us. We have a small token of appreciation. In return, just I call upon Francis Kaidar, the chairman of Bar and Media City, to hand over the token. Thank you very much.
പ്രവാസ ലോകത്ത് വാദി വിസ്മയങ്ങളുടെ വർണ്ണക്കാഴ്ചകൾ ഒരുക്കിയ ബഹ്റിൻ സോപാനം വാദ്യകലാ സംഘം കോൺവെക്സ് മീഡിയയുടെ സഹകരണത്തോടെ സംഘടിപ്പിക്കുന്നു വാദ്യ സംഗമം രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തിരണ്ട് ഭാരതത്തിന് പുറത്ത് നടക്കുന്ന ഏറ്റവും വലിയ മേളോത്സവം ഡിസംബർ ഒന്ന് രണ്ട് തീയതികളിൽ ബഹ്റിൻ ഇസാ ടൗൺ ഇന്ത്യൻ സ്കൂൾ അങ്കണത്തിലെ പടുകൂറ്റൻ വേദിയിൽ കുരുന്ന് പ്രതിഭകൾ ചേർന്നൊരുക്കുന്ന അഷ്ടതായമ്പക തായമ്പകയിലെ യുവരാജാക്കന്മാർ മട്ടന്നൂർ ശ്രീരാജ് ചിറക്കൽ നിതീഷ് എന്നിവർ ചേർന്ന് അവതരിപ്പിക്കുന്ന ഇരട്ടത്തായമ്പക പ്രശസ്ത സോപാന സംഗീതത്തിൽ അമ്പലപ്പുഴ വിജയകുമാരനൊപ്പം പത്ത് യുവ പ്രതിഭകൾ അണിനിരക്കുന്ന സോപാന സംഗീതം മട്ടന്നൂർ ശങ്കരൻകുട്ടി മാരാറിനൊപ്പം പ്രകാശ് ഉള്ളിയേരി വിവേകാനന്ദൻ തുടങ്ങിയ പ്രമുഖ കലാകാരന്മാർ ഒത്തുചേരുന്ന മ്യൂസിക്കൽ ഫ്യൂഷൻ താളമേള ചക്രവർത്തി പത്മശ്രീ മട്ടന്നൂർ ശങ്കരൻകുട്ടിമാരാരുടെ നേതൃത്വത്തിൽ ഇരുന്നൂറിൽ പരം കലാകാരന്മാർ അണിനിരക്കുന്ന പഞ്ചാരിമേള വിസ്മയം പതിനായിരക്കണക്കിന് ആസ്വാദകരൊത്തുകൂടുന്ന സോപാനം വാദ്യ സംഗമം രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തിരണ്ടിലേക്ക് ഏവർക്കും സ്വാഗതം പ്രവാസ ലോകത്ത് താളോത്സവത്തിന്റെ രണ്ടു ദിനരാത്രങ്ങൾ സോപാനം 